All right, welcome back to my video series. This is Angelo putting his pants on off screen, so I'm appropriate here. Anyways, this is an update. It's been a while. And uh, thank you for tuning back in. Let me put this light on here. It's a really bright backlight here, but it should give us some, some light. Anyhow, thanks for tuning in. Update on the uh, oligodendroglioma. Uh, let's see, it's been a while. The uh, radiation wrapped up on Friday the 2nd of September. Today is Wednesday the 28th, so it's been three weeks now since my last radiation treatment and a little bit more than three weeks since my last uh, chemotherapy pills I've taken and they want me to get back on that not too long from now. I've been playing some cribbage on Tuesdays. Uh, yeah, just kind of digress so bear with me. Um, I have an MRI slated for October 5th. Um, I've noticed a lot of lethargy Thargia, whatever you want to call it, uh, tiredness, uh, a little bit of depression uh, setting in because of uh, the, uh, I would, I would uh, equate it to the uh, radiation treatments that I've had to the head, and I am bald still. I don't know this coming back. You can see the patch there. I haven't taken the razor to it in a couple of days, so... There you go. That's what you get when you get heavy blasts of uh, Semigray with the radiation treatment. 30 of them to the dome. And they did let me keep my mask. This is the thing that you bolt down on the table to. So this is my mask. Uh, this is a point of going in. This isn't just the cross of Jesus. This is a uh, and uh, these are the main points where they hit me. These are the ones they hit me the most. So as you can see, that's where I'm most bald. So, and that's pretty smooth. It's just starting to heal the burn on my head. Um, the thing about radiation is it continues to burn on after you've stopped doing it. So it's in there cooking, scrambling those eggs. <laughs> you know, this is your brain. This is your brain on drugs. This is your brain on radiation. Um, I haven't been very motivated to make a video lately, but I feel as though it's probably something I need to do, so here I am doing it. And, uh, I didn't count the days, I'll post it on here, how many days it's been since my first, uh, seizure, but I made it three years now since my initial series of, uh, grandma seizures, and, uh, Uh, my biopsy that they drilled me. You can see the scar. I like to show the scar. Yeah, I've got the scars to prove it. Anyhow, stoked about some sports stuff, which is, you know, it's always, it's nice to have something vicarious to live on for. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm, I've been loving life. Um, haven't been outside today. It's already almost four o'clock in the afternoon, so... There's that. I should get into it because it's a nice 70 degree day out today in autumn. Uh, we've got a really nice year for the weather. Summer wasn't too hot. We've had a few hot days and then it's been a beautiful fall so far. Anyways, just drinking some tea. I love drinking tea. Um, Trying to keep it healthy. I've also been dipping into these, like I mentioned before, the Seven Forest. Uh, this one's the Chico and Curcuma, and the other one was the uh, Otolith. Those two tablets I've run out, but I've also been doing the uh, cannabis. Uh, this is uh, oil. I've laid off the oil for a while, and I've started taking the tincture. Which I'll, uh, I'll show you something that I've been working on lately. Taking a mineral, a mineral. Uh, ascorbic acid and a 
cannabis uh, tincture. This is not oil based. This is water soluble and vegetable glycerol based. So this thing. Dab on that. This stuff here with ascorbic acid. It's 100% uh, pure vitamin C crystalline powder. Usually, I don't have a spoon with me right now, but just a little bit like that. Like a little bump of cocaine <laughs> or something else. Woo! Wow, it's like... Like a Sour Patch Kid on steroids. But that's good. That's like a daily do full dose of vitamin C. And then in this thing, my friend Paula, Farmer Tom's wife, give me this uh, multiple... Uh, Minerals, a bunch of minerals. Really salty. All kinds of salt and electrolytes. So, screw Gatorade. I'm doing that naturally. Uh, she also gave me some pure cane sugar without the molasses separated. I'm working on taking that. Looks like a little bag of doggy do or something, but it's actually hard molasses based sugar. A little bit of that's probably good for you. Mm, more sugar. Good in the tea. Mm. Always doing smoothies still. Keeping a smoothie train rolling. Juiced a bunch of uh, greens. Greens. Thinking about people from my past, a few in particular. And uh, feeling a little sad. Missing, missing someone. Missing some people that I haven't seen in a while. Things change when life changes, but you just got to adapt and keep going. Now, when you juice your own greens and whatnot, fresh veggies, greens, you'd say probably don't keep it in your fridge for more than three days. Keep it in dark, refrigerated area. After about three days, you're taking the risk of getting some kind of a bacterial uh, infestation in your food so you don't want to mess around with that a little bit of probiotics little fermentations fine but I would say um, when you buy juice in the store they usually flash pasteurize it juice in your own you really don't want to take that chance after about three days of refrigeration uh, if it's sat out for any amount of time half hour an hour you really have to be careful after that um, being under the light like this, probably not a good thing. So I'm going to put this away today. This is the third day that I've had this juice. It's been in my fridge the whole time out of the Vitamixer. Usually a 64 Vitamixer to the full. Obviously it'll fill two 32 ounce quart mason jars. I'll do that and then have one of those steel straws just Drink it out of it. Now I'm probably getting green all over my mustache. Anyways, what else can I tell you? All right, I can uh, entertain you with some singing, which is embarrassing for me, but uh, why not, right? Who am I going to embarrass? Just myself. <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to test out my singing. You want me to sing to you? could do that. I don't have to wrap it up, but um, I have to say, with these medications that I'm on still, oxcarbazepine and uh, Keppra, aka Levetiracetam, um, 
it's definitely messing around with me a little bit. I've been still been keeping track in the composition notebook of all of the uh, days and notes of particulars that stand out for that day. And I've been staying up really late lately, uh, binging uh, The Grateful Dead season six on Netflix, and I just got to the end of it. I've been pounding through like three episodes a day at night, and um, yeah. I've been sleeping too late, and uh, since the radiation's made me really tired, or whatever it's been that's been making me, made me really tired, I've been sleeping on average of about nine hours a night, but um, usually that's been a problem for me in the past, but now I'm breezing, sleeping well. Also, um, trying to stay clear of the uh, benzodiazepines, like the... Uh, Ativan and Clonopin that I've been prescribed because that stuff because is very um, you can become very dependent on it as I've called in the past Depenzos you know because it's nothing to mess with there's other ones out there too um, the uh, Xanax is one of them I haven't taken but um, those two that I have they're anti-anxiety medications they do is release a uh, chemical in your brain that's naturally released when you meditate or relax or go to sleep at night and uh, when you're relying on these medications uh, your brain's off kilter and not able to produce the uh, the uh, it's called GABA G-A-B-A -A. Um, and uh, you should look it up I, I can talk more about it in the future but um, it's kind of going off the cuff here Anyways, um, this is all stuff I've touched on in the past, but um, I want to thank all the people who have recently subscribed and commented or putting their best wishes, thoughts, and prayers out for me, and uh, I want to put that out, forward that on to other people out there who are not just uh, medically ill or have some kind of health issues, but to people out there who uh, are lonely, depressed, um, just feel down and out and you know we all go through those moments in life that it's some people more than others but um it's important to stay vigilant and stay strong stay active I have to tell myself that tell myself this and get out there into the community start doing things start eating on a regular basis get your body into a nice normative uh, clock where you're going to bed at a, at a reasonable hour I've noticed that's been a problem for me and depression is more able to creep in when you're not getting a regular sleep you're spending too much time in front of a monitor whether it's a television screen a computer screen or a phone monitor uh, just getting off unplugging going outside going on a walk it's really the best thing you can do for yourself yesterday I went on a walk uh, to visit my mom and my niece and nephew and that was about a two and a half mile walk there and it was great getting out and also with playing you know, playing some cards some cribbage and stuff like that to keep the brain working and thinking stuff to keep you keep the old faculties firing is uh is good so yeah gonna wrap this up that's me being crazy and wrapping it up <laughs> Um, going to the coast here soon with my friend Sean, uh, down to Yachats and, uh, Yachats, I don't know if that's how you say it. I would imagine that's how you would if you're a Jewish or Hebrew, you'd go Yachats. Uh, I don't know, but you, you can eat challah bread down in Yachats. Uh, oh, noises coming out of the computer. All right. Firefox wants me to download its latest in carnation all right but we'll wait on that one anywho let's wrap it up with a little song and we will call this a day all right thanks for tuning in to my latest installment i call the state of euphorbia um and so yeah that's it here i'm gonna sing it's gonna be probably not that great but you know what who cares this is mine you can tune out anytime you want to and just Ever come back. But anyways, here we go. Alrighty.
I've been alone with you inside my head And in my dreams I've kissed your lips a thousand times I sometimes see you pass outside my door Hello, is it me you're looking for? I can see it in your eyes I can see it in your smile You're all I've ever wanted And my arms are open wide Cause you know just what to say And you know just what to do And I want to tell you so much I love you Should I go on? Alright, a little bit more. Two not any time. I want to see the sunlight in your hair And tell you time and time again how much I care Sometimes I'll see my heart will overflow Hello, I've just got to let you know Cause you wonder where you are and I wonder what you do Are you somewhere feeling lonely? Or is someone loving you? Tell me how to win your heart For I haven't got a clue But let me start by saying I love you Hello is it me you're looking for? I just wonder where you are And I wonder what to do Are you somewhere feeling lonely? Or is someone loving you? Tell me how to win your heart For I haven't got a clue But let me start by saying uh, toodaloo. <laughs> All right, that was pretty bad. But anyways, I'll leave that to Lionel Richie. Um, and I do have a Lionel Richie uh, montage that I put together, uh, or a medley rather, uh, from the Key Arena in Seattle in 2014 when I went up there with uh, Sandra. And uh, Sandra, if you're watching, I love you. And uh, anyhow, it's been too long. I'll catch up sometime. All right, y'all, um, have a great day or night, depending on when you see this. And if you've made it through the end of my uh, horrendous singing of uh, Lionel Richie, hello, then uh, thank you and goodbye. <laughs> All right, peace, y'all.